Hey, what's up everybody? Steve here. I'm back to do a quick video on a headlight upgrade from my 2021 Zero FX. So if you already own a Zero FX, you're going to know already that uh, it doesn't matter what year you got, even the 2022 models. The light bulbs are just regular halogen bulbs. Um, they're yellow. I figure with this day and age, you want a whiter, brighter LED light, which will last longer as well. So stick around and we'll be right back with the installation. All right, first thing, you're gonna remove this shroud here. You're gonna get a three, number three Allen wrench. You're gonna remove these two bolts over here on the front. Once you get that removed, set that aside. And then we're gonna work on the four number five Allen bolts on the sides. Sorry for the shaky video, it's sped up. For sake of video, sake of time. I would cover the fender with a towel to avoid any scratches. Okay, so when you get the four five mil Allen bolts off, you're gonna notice you have the highlight. I don't know if you guys can make it out there. Low, and then you have a black and a white wire coming out. So the white wire comes out, stays on, it's connected to the bulb. The two black wires here are the grounds or negatives, and they're labeled high beam and low beam. I don't know if you guys can catch that from this angle here, but they are labeled, so you don't have to worry. Um, these boots come off here, so we're gonna have to remove all that. And then you can take out the running light, they're here. So they just pop right out, actually. So you just wiggle it, and they come right out. I would just go ahead and mark them anyway, but they are running lights, they both turn on at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the low beam on the left side of the bike, if you're sitting on the bike, and then the right one, I'll wrap it around the right blinker over here, okay? So I got these W3W replacements here. I'm not sure how good these are, but they're, they match these on paper. We'll see how bright they are. This is the high beam. See, like I said, it was labeled. And then the low beam is back there. And they're zip tied together, actually. There's some dielectric grease in here. And on the other side, I see, I suggest you add some when you, to the bulb side of it. That helps with the waterproofing, keeping all the connections good. Everything up here is zip tied really nice. You don't want to bother any of this stuff. And let's get to installing it. Okay, so the bulbs I'm using are SoCal LED Lightings H3 Fanless LED Conversion Kit Bulbs. They're 60 watts and 6K in color. I also got some extra boots for the back of the bulb just in case. They're only $8.99, so what the heck. All right, so we got the boots off. We got the black wire disconnected. The white wire is connected to the bulb, so that's gonna stay there. And we're just doing one side. I got the other side done already. You're gonna have to unhook these clips here. I don't know if you can see them. One and two. My fingers are freaking big, so I'm gonna use this to show you guys. You will unhook each one. And then this clip moves on the side. Okay, bulb comes out. Um, got the gloves on because you don't want to touch these bulbs. I'm gonna save them in the box just in case I gotta change it back to stock. So put that in the box on the side there and this is what it looks like. And you can get the new bulb, place it in there and hook these back on, okay? You're gonna notice, uh, even with the new bulbs, so you got a round end here and kind of got a flat end here, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that there. So the so rounded edge on one side, and then the, this side is flat. They got a little notch on both sides, right? So you're gonna line that up with this, see that the rounded end and the flat end there, and the bulb. See, if you do it the other way around, it ain't gonna jive. If you get it this way, it fits right in there. You see that? So you're gonna do that with the new bulbs, okay? That's what happens, I ran it through already here. It's gonna go in, so you got the round edge there, flat edge there, I'm gonna hook on one side at a time, what's that side? And then this side, oh, that's in there pretty snug, okay? Then you're gonna run everything through a little puka that you cut here in our boot. Now, some people are thinking that this ain't gonna be good enough cover for these. You know, it might be exposed to the elements, but these are waterproof according to the Amazon site. So they can submerge these, they'll turn on, they'll work. And again, I'm gonna tuck these in here and then run the wires and we're all good to go. All right, and then I'm, I mentioned this a little bit later on, I'm gonna, show you guys because i have it off but the shroud this shroud here bolts on to these two places here 
and there's this ground, okay? So you gotta make sure you have that connected as you're putting everything back together. And then uh, as you're putting everything together, back together, always test. You never know, something might disconnect somewhere along the line. And there's your highlights or your passing lights. Hey, so there you have it folks, the LED headlight conversion on my 2021 Zero FX motorcycle. So if you like what you saw, you learned a little something today, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button below. And until next time, take care and aloha.